Huge machines like cranes, tractors, trucks, and ships are all built for a specific purpose, and also to weather the passage of time. No matter how well they're constructed, though, nature takes its toll, and eventually, their usable life comes to an end. Large ships are a prime example. When they reach the end of their life, something has to be done. Sometimes they are sunk, but most often they are brought to scrapyards where they can be broken down for parts and recycled. Perhaps the most fascinating thing about this process is how they get there. Instead of being towed to shore, these large boats simply gun their engines, aim for land, and hope for the best. Here are five massive ships running aground. The MS Austen Spirit was built in 1987 and at the time was one of the largest ferry ships in Europe. She and her sister ship, Pride of Dover, found massive success, carrying more passengers across the English Channel than any other ship. Around 2007, though, it was discovered that the ship was starting to fail, as there were multiple technical problems that would occur on a regular basis. It was the beginning of its decline in service. Finally, in 2012, the decision was made that the MS Austen Spirit should be taken out of service and scrapped. In November of 2013, the MS Austin Spirit was seen approaching the salvage yard at Mariner Machine Industries LTD in Aliaga, Turkey. In the video, off in the distance, you can see the ship speeding towards land. On the shore, there were two ships that had already been scrapped, with a sizable gap between them, just large enough for the huge ferry. Also, just beside the water's edge, a fire had been set as a visual aid for the captain as he steered the ship in. Just as the huge ferry started to come aground, it pushed a huge wave in until it finally came to a rest. Some of the largest ships sailing the seas today are carriers. Typically, when we think of carriers, pictures of huge cargo ships come to mind, carrying thousands of crates that are filled with all sorts of goods. There are other carriers that sail the seas as well, equally as impressive as cargo ships. These are called bulk carriers, and they are large ships which transport unpackaged bulk cargo such as grains, coal, ore, and cement. They have to be incredibly massive to hold so much. The Turquoise 8 was one of these bulk carriers. Built in 1985, it sailed out of Tokyo, Japan and went all over the world transporting nearly every type of bulk material available. With a gross tonnage of 22,135 tons, it was definitely fit for this role. For years, the Japanese vessel conducted business around the world, actually flying under the flag of the country Turkey. However, towards the end of its life, it started experiencing a number of mechanical failures. Additionally, it was becoming more obsolete as maritime technology grew by leaps and bounds. So, the decision was made that it was time to put the Turquoise 8 out of commission and take it to a demolition yard.
One particular yard was selected in Gadani, Pakistan. Unlike other videos, there were no other ships that had previously been beached. So, even though it looks nearly accidental, this was completely on purpose. There was even a crowd gathered to watch this incredible event take place. The large ship came ashore and the crews got right to work, making sure it was secure and that it wouldn't tip over. Unlike bulk carriers, general cargo ships are the ones we are most used to seeing. They are incredibly essential to the world economy, providing a much needed way for countries to trade with one another. Of course, these ships are huge, usually measuring around 700 feet long, or 213 meters. The average cargo ship can carry around 1,000 containers that each measure around 40 feet or 12 meters in length. The weight of all these containers can often be around 25,000 tons. The MV Klaipeda Spirit was a smaller cargo ship built in Lithuania in 1995 that sailed under the flag of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. While the average cargo ship may be around 700 feet long, the Klaipeda Spirit measured less than 300 feet, or 91 meters. It definitely got its fair share of use, but as the years progressed, the rest of the world built much larger ships, able to carry nearly four times what the Klaipeda could. Eventually, her owners had to face the fact that their ship couldn't keep up with the newer, larger ships, and the decision was made to decommission it. In 2014, at less than 30 years old, the Klaipeda arrived at the recycling yards of Mariner Machine Industries in Aliaga, Turkey. As the ship trudged forward, a plume of smoke rose from the beach, signaling where its final resting place would be. On one end of the spectrum, we have the Klaipeda, a small cargo ship that is very unassuming and a dwarf compared to others. Then, on the other end, we have the MV Global Nature, a general cargo ship that is over twice as big as the Klaipeda and carries a much more commanding presence. Measuring in at around 650 feet or 199 meters, this massive cargo ship saw heavy use during its life. It was originally built in Japan but flew under the flag of Panama. After many years, it began to experience a number of mechanical issues. The cost of these various malfunctions became too great over time, so the decision was made to scrap the ship.
In the video, we see the global nature sailing towards shore. It announced its arrival with loud blasts from its horn. A space was made between the skeletons of two other ships, which were tiny in comparison. Making sure to go out in a blaze of glory, the captain continued to lay on the horn as the gigantic cargo ship found its way onto shore. Passenger ferries may not be the biggest ships that sail the seas, but they serve a very important purpose for those who live in seaside towns and on islands. It is one of the most useful and efficient ways to get across channels, bays, and rivers when there isn't a bridge close by. The MV Bo saw this type of use during its years in service in various states throughout New England. It had the capacity to ferry up to 42 vehicles and 250 passengers between destinations. But after 50 years of operation, its time was up. In this video, shot at the Mariner Machine Industries salvage yard in Aliaga, Turkey, the bow is seen barging in at full speed towards a gap between two larger ships. The captain of the bow kept the horn blasting as he made his way towards the shore. The video ends with the ship listing to the side, almost as if it had scraped the other ship and was knocked off balance. It's a rare sight to see a ship run aground, but in the world of salvaging and scrapping them, it's common. Lots of these shipyards exist in faraway countries, at least when compared to North America. So thankfully, we have these videos to show us exactly how this process is done. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.